I'd initially spent five years in the Army. Loved the parachuting, loved all the excitement of um, jumping out of helicopters and things like that. So I uh, found out about the clearance divers through a friend at work and decided that that would be the go. Uh, and I never looked back. I, I've actually dived in the harbour many, many times, you know. Uh, I was posted to the underwater battle damage repair element for quite some time when I was at uh, Clearance Diving Team 1 and one of the roles for that element is to come over here and, and do work on the warships. So I've dived in, uh, in and around Sydney Harbour quite a lot. We'd, we'd never really been trained in what to do if we'd encountered dangerous animals. Uh, whenever we do a dive there's always uh, a section of the dive brief that talks about hazards and one of those hazards is dangerous marine animals but all it says is be cautious of dangerous marine animals <laughs> it doesn't actually tell you what to do when you encounter them so the morning that the shark attack happened uh, I'd actually just pulled one of the new guys out of the water and, and told him I'd take over uh, finishing off the job for him uh, I, I just turned over to look over my shoulder and make sure I was going in the right direction and before I'd even turned back I, I felt a, a big whack in my leg and it wasn't painful, I didn't think anything of it, I figured someone must have uh, run into me with the, with the boat or you know, a piece of driftwood or something like that and, and then I looked down and next to me was a gigantic grey shark staring at me and I just thought yeah that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> so um, we stared at each other for a couple of seconds and uh, you know, the, the panic and the fear and the adrenaline all kicked in and I went, all right, I've got to get this thing off me. So I, um, I tried to uh, go for the eyeball, but I, I couldn't reach it. And I tried to push it off and that didn't work. So I, I whacked it in the head and uh, that upset it. And he started shaking me around in the water and it took me under. And, and then we came back up and I, I gasped for air because I wasn't sure when I was going to get another breath. So uh, he took me back down after that and I was pretty much a rag doll in his mouth. I came to the surface and I just thought I've got to get out of the water. So I started swimming for the safety boat. I, I yelled at him and I did freestyle and as I, as I looked up I noticed my hand was missing. Uh, so I started swimming side stroke with one hand out of the water and not really being able to work out what was going on with my leg. I, I couldn't really move it so I was effectively swimming with one hand and one leg and the guys in the boat were coming at me at the same time so they were on me in a flash and pulled me out of the water and the relief washed over me and uh, that's when I passed out. You know it, it's just something that happens, it's a risk of the job and if I wasn't willing to face those risks then I shouldn't have uh, joined the clearance divers. So I had my leg for a week uh, but then I had to make the decision because the shark had actually removed my whole hamstring and 25 centimetres of my sciatic nerves. It, it was tough, very tough thing to deal with coming from being someone who was so active and, and capable at, at so much to being, you know, useless. I couldn't, couldn't even get out of bed. So it, it was a very tough thing. The fact that a shark got me was a one in a million chance. And what's the chance of it happening twice? So. <laughs> I figure I'm good to go. You can do anything you want to do. You know, nothing can really stop you from succeeding. If you want it bad enough, then you, you put your plans in place and you put, you put work into it and you pour your heart and soul into it and, uh, and things are going to come good. <laughs>